Greetings, I'm Don Letts, aka the Rebel Dread, in conversation with Slits bass player Tessa Pollitt, producer extraordinaire Adrian Sherwood, and Kerry Ava to talk about Camry Dance Theatre's new production, Kill 'em With Love, The Fury of Ariel. Kerry Ava, yeah. as it's primarily your baby, Give us a bit of background. Yeah, I mean, the idea for the show was maybe two years ago now already, and about 18 months ago, me and Adrian were together talking about and working on a project called Dub No Frontiers. Yeah, we were talking about what the next Camry show is going to be, and Dub No Frontiers is a bit of a funny project because it's an album project and there's so much of Ari, Ari Up, that surrounds this. It just seemed like a good time to do the show, it's the 10th anniversary of Ari passing and Tessa's scrapbook and toured the film. It'll be such an uplifting show for audiences as well. I think they'll be ready to see something passionate and with so much music. Tessa, how does it feel knowing that the slips still resonate with so many people around the world? And uh, how much of that do you think is down to Ari? Well, hugely, because as you've said, she's such the most unusual person I've met in my life as well. And for for the next generations and the next generations, they all got her, they all loved her. When we reformed the slits, there was a whole new generation coming to the shows. And um, she was a chameleon, a shapeshifter. I try and think of words to describe her, but it's so hard because she is such a sort of rare bird. Judy Nylon, a mutual friend of ours, described her as Big Bird from Sesame Street. It's very hard to put Ari in a box. There's just no one like her. That's the thing that was different about Ari as well, that sticks out in my head, because the first time I met her, I was really, really young. I think I was in my very first tour in band, I would have only been 18, something like that. And it was a gig, it would have been some of her solo, new age steppersy kind of stuff. And she did slit songs in that. I was just looking up at the stage in total awe since I discovered her and the slits when I was 16. I was completely in love with the whole thing, totally inspired. And there she was being absolutely mental. And uh, you know, London gigs at that time could be a little bit, you probably remember this, a little bit stuffy. You know, people had to have their arms folded and kind of, well, show us what you can do then, you know. And Ari was just like... like yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can imagine what like happened, that. right? So the, the, she did a few um, slit songs. She got increasingly really agitated that people didn't know the words. And she started laying into the audience going, you yeah. don't know the fucking words about <laughs> you. <laughs> And also, if people weren't dancing at the kind of high octane level that she wanted, and she'd get right into the crowd afterwards, like we've got to talk him. I was just a youngster and I didn't have my head about me. It was just a moment. And then our paths crossed much, much later, of course. Yeah, that's what I remember about Ari. She controlled the atmosphere of her gigs and you had to go along on that train with her or you were gonna, you were gonna get it off her. <laughs> Donna and Spice Girls and Courtney Love bow down. Ain't none of y'all touched the spirit and the attitude and the energy of Ari up. She went on her path and her path was like this fearless warrior woman who like, she just wanted to grab hold and feel life. You know, and that's that's what I remember. Well, I always remember of her. She went, she, I would say she's one of the most fearless human beings I ever met. Camry Dance Theatre's new production, Kill 'em With Love. The Fury of Ariel.